What up? How's it going? First, let me start by saying don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure to hit the notification bell. Shout out to all the new viewers. Shout out to all the subscribers. And I got a Patreon with full length early reactions to things like this. If you'd like to, check it out. So, I wasn't going to watch this today. Um, I was going to, I think, watch Bojack Horseman in his place. Um, but I was listening to the Dan Lebertard show with Stu Gotts. I fuck with that show heavy. Um, and uh, Roy from on the show, he said, I believe he was talking about this episode, but he said one of the episodes uh, in this final part of the final season is The Fly of uh, Better Call Saul. Now, if y'all watch my reactions to Breaking Bad, y'all saw The Fly on first watch. I got it. Like, I, there wasn't a moment. It wasn't until people started telling me in the comments, yeah, this is considered the worst episode. I was like, wait, oh, word? Oh, okay. Because if y'all can kind of tell about me, I, it's hard. I don't know. It's very rare when I could go, this season sucks compared to that or that episode to that. I kind of just have, like, an overview. And, um, like, if, I, if there's too many episodes start building up where I just don't give a fuck or it's, it's trash, then that's how it'll feel for me. But from episode to episode, it's like, ah, you know. So, um, but when the fly happened, I was like, ah, nah, I, I, I get this. I get what they were doing here. Somebody said that uh, one of these episodes is uh, the fly for Better Call Saul. So I wanted to go ahead and watch it. That makes me ready to see it, uh, you know. Now, of course, usually I would like to go in un with my perspective untainted in with any sort of opinion. But um, see if maybe some of y'all felt that way. All right. Wait. Wait. That's not who I think it is, is it? Wait. Is this Nebraska? <laughs> I just I just assume it's Nebraska because it's in black and white. Oh, that sucks. You sure you don't want to push? I'm sure. What happened to poor Nippy? I was driving with the windows open, you know, before all this hit. And I don't know, something got into him. Maybe he saw a cat or something, but he jumped. I hope you find him. Maybe just a little push. Well, if you sure don't like you don't no mind. damn help. Yeah, I'm happy to help. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Can drive. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Hope you find Nippy. Thank you. What's the hustle here? How you doing, Marion? Great. Ah, oh, good. Are you okay? Oh yeah. Right. Oh shit. Oh, wait a minute. We doing this black and white, just black and white. He got that good sweater. Ma? In the kitchen, Jeffy. That sweater come with pudding pops. If <laughs> you get my drift. Sometimes he gets a little nervous around new people. Ma? Well, you do. Now, come on. Grab a glass and sit down. Mm -hmm. You came. You started it. Pause. You started it. You showed up and tried to play him at the ball. Tell him how we met, Gene. Oh, yeah. Um, I was looking for Nippy. Yeah. So, your mom tells me you're a cab driver? <laughs> Have you ever driven anyone famous? Oh, we sure did. Tell him, Jeffy. Sammy Hagar. No, oh, the Red word. Rocker. Hey, I love him. <laughs> what was he like? A uh, big tipper? I guess. No. Oh, you know, you stay comfy. They made cookies. Oh, rescue this beautiful creation. Look I'll meet that. Though. Dude, what the fuck? I know it's awkward, right? But you don't have to call me dad yet. I don't know what this is about, but all I have to do is pick up the phone and it's bye-bye Saul Goodman. Reward money, blackmail, that's not gonna tickle your pickle. I know what you really want. You want in the game. The game? What, what game? The game. The game, what? The one you've been watching your entire life. You can see it, but you can't touch it. I'm not talking chess or checkers. I'm talking the 
day. Cars, the clothes, the cash, mm -hmm. the ladies. The bitches. Excuse me. The ladies. It's about knowing all the angles. But here you are, Jeffy, standing outside with the suckers. It's so close, but damn it, you just can't get in until now. I can make it happen. So here's the deal. I will show you the game, and then we're done. All this is his brother-in-law with history of violence. 10-4. Look at this gong. Fair problem? No, I, I just came to say thanks. Uh, I'm Gene from Cinnabon. Uh, you called the EMTs for me when I fainted. Yeah, I remember you. Get a lawyer! Nick, do I detect Cinnabons? Yeah. <laughs> might have get him in here. <laughs> it's free country. Yeah, you damn right. That's what he was trying to say. <laughs> you mad because he told somebody they actual rights? Fuck off. Please enjoy yourselves. Well, God bless you. <laughs> well, 9.45. Nick, you want to grab yours to go? Sure. Yeah, he's got to check the lot. Hey, do me a favor. If you were ever to cross paths with my wife... Shh. Oh. <laughs> Scout's on her. Count on it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, did you catch the game last night? The game. What the hell is wrong with those guys? You know, Texas wasn't even ranked. I know. Play calling was crazy. You think Wheaton will come through on his home turf? Yeah. No way. With that thumb? Thumb's a deal breaker. I'll tell you something. The Cougar helmet was the thumb breaker. Mm. Well. That's interesting. He took the time of how long it would take him to eat. We're gonna do it again. And he's counting on around that same amount of time. Gene, Gene, the Cinnabon machine. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you coming up the hallway. Pellini. Pellini, that's, nah. yeah, the coach. Oh, you know me, I go at him when things are bad, but when he does something good, I'm all about it. SG was here. <laughs> My man getting the average of how long it'll take. Did Cinnabon pay them extra? Like, put it in the contract? We want an episode where it's mad Cinnabon on a motherfucking screen. <laughs> Like, they was like, yeah, this is cool, this is cool. But I need an episode where we see a ton of fucking Cinnabon. <laughs> Look at old Can I help you, sir? Um, yeah. Um, no thanks. I'm just browsing. Okay, yeah. I don't know why her going, okay, yeah, maybe, man. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Said, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 17 feet, right here. They about to practice? That's it, move, move! Go, 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 go! One, <laughs> Armani suits and run! What's up with him? Two, Air Jordan shoes for you! Three, linen shirts for free! It's too many! You gotta be precise, just three of each. Three minutes, got it? That's our window. Yeah, but why three minutes? 
because at three minutes, that's when security sees you on the cameras and the cops haul your ass to jail. All right, so let's go. Wait, there's cameras? Sure, there's cameras. What kind of dumbass question was that? Just this whole thing, it seems crazy. Is this too hot for you? Just say so. You know what, screw it. I'll tell you what's crazy. 50 year old high school chemistry teacher comes into my office. The guy is so broke, he can't pay his own mortgage. One year later, he's got a pile of cash as big as a Volkswagen. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is some crazy shit. <laughs> it was crazy to the motherfucker when I seen it. Are you in or out? In. Run, Armani suits and run. <laughs> Two, Air Jordan shoes for let's you. Let's go, let's go. Turn three, up, turn up, turn up. Three, 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 three. Four, cashmere sweaters out the door. Five, Patagonians to survive.